All right. Summer of 2017, I had the opportunity to go to the STEM Guitar Institute at Johnston Community College. It was an outstanding opportunity to, to take a class on how to apply the STEM concepts in the classroom on a really cool project. And we learned, uh, well, my eyes were open because it got my creative wheels back to turn and how you can come up with engaging activities that encompass all the different areas of STEM. Uh, but the guitars, uh, we got them out last year in the fall semester and used it as an enhancement or an enrichment activity. And the students that, that were in the class just became so engaged and motivated and they really put their hearts into the project. And it was, as an educator, it was really exciting to see that level of enthusiasm for science, technology, engineering, and math, because who gets excited about math? And at the end of the project, the students get to take it home and it's theirs to keep. So they have a tangible project with tons of learning that goes into it. They can take home and some of them even learn to play the guitar, but for the rest of their life, they have this bragging rights for this project that they did. They've got something they can show their kids and grandkids. And uh, it lights a fire. And you know, I've been at this game for 23 years now, and I have as much renewed enthusiasm as the students have. And I, I just think it's, a, uh, it's just a cool way to teach STEM. The principal of the school came to me at the end of the school year last year and said I had two students in that class that were just ready to drop, up, throw their, drop out. They were ready to throw their hands up and quit. And uh, right now, one of those students is enrolled at Edgecombe Community College. Uh, so he not only stuck with high school, but he's going on to the next level to pursue an associate's degree. And the other student is working at one of our premier uh, manufacturing employers in this area. And you can't get a job there if you don't have a high school diploma. So it's one of those moments where as an educator, I, I pat myself on the back and say, that's why I'm here.